put your hands up in the air if you ate a banana in the last week. Well, I might not be able to see you, but I do hope your hands went up in the air straight away. So, my PhD project at the University of Exeter focuses on bananas and a devastating fungi which arrived in Latin America less than a year ago. So, you might have come across alarming articles like the National Geographic one that bananas are going extinct, that they will soon disappear from the shelves of our groceries. But let me put your mind somewhat at ease. The disease is called Fusarium wilt or Panama disease. It is caused by a microscopic soil borne fungi called Fusarium oxysporum forma specialis cubans strain tropical 4. For short, let's call it TR4. You can see it on the pictures, what happens to the plants. It enters the roots, then it blocks nutrients and water transfer within the stem, and that's the discoloration you can see, and it leads to the yellowing, wilting, and death of banana plants. This disease cannot be controlled with any kind of fungicide and can be easily transferred on shoes, clothes, and farm equipment. This is how it has been spreading from Asia, Australia, India, Middle East, and now to Latin America. An earlier version of this disease costed $2.3 billion to the industry in the 1940s. My PhD will take place in Costa Rica and I will be investigating how soil health and additional beneficial microbes, termed biological controls, might be a way to suppress this disease. Unfortunately, commercial banana production is highly intensive. The plants are sprayed with pesticides up to 80 times a year and get lots of synthetic fertilizers as well. The overall reason why banana production is so unsustainable is because they are cheap. They have crossed many, many oceans and there are many stakeholders involved, such as the packaging facilities, transportation, ripening and such. In the UK, the wholesale price for bananas is 60 to 70p per kilogram. Banana farmers get a small fraction of the retail price and therefore cannot afford more sustainable practices. I hope to investigate how these beneficial microbes could be an economical way to protect banana plants from this fungi. As many tropical countries' economies rely on banana exportation, I would like to just leave you with this. Appreciate every banana you eat and just have a think. Would you be happy to spend 10p extra for a bunch of bananas but supporting the farmers and their sustainability in the future?